Health Check 10 now, a complex genetic disorder that affects 1 in 15,000 children, and it's the leading cause of life-threatening obesity in kids. Here's Barbara Morse Silva now introducing us to a Cumberland girl who was diagnosed shortly after birth. Two-and-a-half-year-old Sienna DiMuccio is an active toddler. She loves books. She's very curious and loves to play. Typical stuff for a girl her age. But it was a long road getting here, and she faces a long road ahead. It all began on the day she was born, September 11th, 2012. She came out, there was not a sound, and then she was like gray in color. She didn't, um, she didn't cry at all. And she had very low muscle tone. Mom Felicia says she looked limp. And there's more. She had trouble eating. She was just sleeping all the time, so it was like feeding a sleeping baby. Doctors suspected a genetic disorder known as prader willi A blood test done at five weeks confirmed it. The main characteristics are low muscle tone, developmental delays, and an insatiable hunger. Sienna has experienced the first two. She wasn't able to sit up until she was one. Her speech was delayed. And it wasn't until a few months ago on Christmas Day that she took her first steps. Now she runs around everywhere. In the next few months or years, no one can predict when, she will develop the third and potentially most dangerous phase of this syndrome, an insatiable appetite. People with this syndrome um, have that constant feeling of hunger. And it's not just like, oh, I'm hungry, I need to eat something. It's like they feel like they're starving. They can eat a full meal and they feel like they're starving. It's, it's coupled with a low metabolism as well which puts these children at risk for life-threatening obesity. Meantime, Sienna eats only healthy foods, nothing processed, and mom is hopeful researchers will come up with something to help eliminate this insatiable appetite in children with prader willi And the DiMuccio family is taking action. They're in the midst of planning a fundraiser for this September around Sienna's third birthday to raise money for the Foundation for prader willi Research. There currently is no cure, but there is a hope for effective treatments. For more on Sienna, prader willi syndrome, and the research that's being done, log on to turnatend.com and click on health. And that's Health Check. Barbara Moore Silva, NBC10 News.